Hey guys, it's Felicia. Wanted to do a short video to talk to you all a little bit about why I chose Costa Rica in uh, April of 2024 for my next international retreat. I bet you didn't know that Costa Rica is one of the top three spiritual countries in the world. And it didn't surprise me when I read that fact. Iceland is another one and I'm blanking on the third one right now, but it didn't surprise me. Um, some of the things that I loved about Costa Rica, we were there in 2017 with a woman's retreat and plus Mark, <laughs> sound healer Mark. Um, but some of the things that I love so much about Costa Rica is the smallness of the country, even though it's spread out. Um, it's a very heart-centered country, meaning they they love their people so much. You know, the word pura, pura Vida means pure life, and they really do enjoy and they embrace life. And they embrace the simple things of life uh, is what I really noticed about Costa Rica. Uh, Costa Rica has been run by a woman for many, many years now. They don't have an army. They don't feel like they need an army. They don't um, really participate in world politics, which is probably a good thing. Um, they take care of their youth. If you want to go to college, there is money for every child in Costa Rica to go to college. <clears throat> they take care of their elderly. Um, when we were out on tour one day, we had a wonderful tour guide and she was showing us an area of the country where they have uh, homes and things set up for seniors that can't afford housing or maybe they're on their own. So they take care of their elderly. You know, they want all of their children to be educated, but at the same time, they take care of their, their elderly. It's just um, a beautiful country. Now, I'm not going to the far part of uh, Costa Rica, Nassaro, which is on the Pacific Ocean. A lot of people, <clears throat> when you hear and you think about, and we're not actually going to be in the jungle either. The retreat center that I chose is for a particular uh, reason. I always do a lot of time and energy in picking um, the proper place to meet the needs of my group coming in. So I have chosen Pure Vida for the second time in a row. There are people that have been leading retreats at Pure Vida for the last 30 years. Uh, I started my retreat history in Dahlonega at Dahlonega Spa Resort. These resorts were owned by a woman named Pauline. And um, Pauline, in her early young days, bought um, this property in Costa Rica with her husband, and they lived there for quite some time. And then she added Delonica, and then she added uh, a property in Mexico as well. So it was a very special property to her. The good thing is this property is about 30 minutes from the San Jose airport. So you're able to fly into San Jose, you're able to be picked up, you're able to be at the resort and enjoying your retreat very quickly. Um, the downside of going to other places in Costa Rica is you get there, you've traveled all day, then you have another four hours or five hours or some people overnight, and then they take a plane the next day. So I like the easiness of going right to Pura Vida. Um, it's one of the top retreat centers I have been to. Uh, they have uh, amazing, amazing healers and uh, spa treatments and uh, a staff that is just uh, above and beyond. The food is delicious and it gives us a place um, of sanctity. Um, it's in a, it, the whole uh, retreat center is walled because what's happened over the last 30 years is the whole town of uh, Alajuela and San Jose has like expanded around the retreat center. So you're not completely in the jungle away, but you're not that far from the city. So you may hear sounds, you know, coming from the city and things like that. But it also offered us the opportunity to have amazing day trips. Uh, we could go to a beautiful uh, La Paz waterfall and butterfly sanctuary. 
Uh, we visited coffee, um, a coffee plantation. Uh, the retreat center actually sits on a coffee plantation, but we visited another local coffee plantation. Um, some of our people went whitewater rafting. They got up at four in the morning and they drove and drove and drove, but it, it was an amazing experience for them. And I love Pura Vida because they have been doing this for a long, long, long time. So they make sure that my guests are comfortable and they make sure your needs are met. They make sure that everything is taken care of you, for you. So I just wanted to put a short video on. I hope you watch this to the end. If you want more details about this retreat, you can visit my website, www.feliciagrant.com. Dot com. I'll put some information uh, next to the video as well. Uh, obviously, April of next year seems like a long, long time away, but those of you know, time flies. So I hope you will think about joining us. It's women only. So uh, leave your men at home. <laughs> Grab your girlfriend, your bestie, and come to Costa Rica with us. Hope you have a great day. Thanks.